So, as previously mentioned, this is a 1-6 scale Miles Morales figure by Young Rich Toys. This figure is a third party, unlicensed product, however it does come with a load of awesome accessories. This particular figure is the casual look for Miles, although he does come with the classic Spider-Man Halloween costume as featured within the movie as a secondary look. The company is making more figures including a secondary Miles in his own hero outfit, as well as a Spider-Gwen and a Peter B. Parker. I'd like to take this opportunity to mention that this is not a paid advertisement by the company. I just fell in love with this figure and after purchasing it I wanted to share it with you guys. One thing of note is that this is, as I mentioned earlier, is that this is an unlicensed release. And so it's not considered a knockoff or a fake. It just means that the company doesn't hold the actual character IP. I purchased mine from toywonderland.com and it arrived within seven days of payment. I will put the link in the description. So to begin with, the box art is absolutely stunning. Um, I did find it strange, however, that they went for this image on the box and not one more similar to the design inside. Maybe they're intending to use uh, this particular artwork for both figure types. Uh, either way, I just think it's really cool and I really love it. The box itself is actually a good, strong, sturdy box. And uh, just giving you guys a quick glimpse here, you know, beautiful textured artwork. Uh, almost got like a 3D appeal to it. And then, of course, the back there with the name tag for Miles Morales. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. So, upon first opening the box, we are greeted here by a cardboard backdrop. This is of the tunnels in which Miles and his Uncle Aaron actually venture inside, where he does his rather expressive and rather cool expectations uh, graffiti artwork. This is also where he gets bitten by the radioactive spider. So I'm just going to lift this out and we can take a look at this a bit later on. Um, it is worth noting that on the back we have some awesome sticker art, which again I believe some of this is actually to be stuck on some of the various props that we have within this set. So just going to remove that there. And here we have Miles in all his glory. So on this uh, first glance, here you can see Miles wearing his casual outfit with his sneakers. Uh, we also have a pair of Sony headphones, a secondary head sculpt wearing the Halloween Spidey mask, as well as multiple hands and multiple webbing. So very cool. So I'm just gonna lift this out and we will come back to these pieces in due course. So the second layer, here we have what appears to be the yellow cape. After all, Spider-Man does not wear a cape, but sure enough, they've included it here. Um, and yeah, I won't go into too much detail about it, but we'll talk about that later. Then beneath the cape, we have, of course, the, uh, the custom stand for the, for the figure, as well as these two awesome Venom Blast uh, accessories either side. Um, just at first glance here, we've got the Spider-Man Halloween costume, as previously mentioned, a rucksack, a spray can, his web shooters, and what appears to be a card or a box underneath. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take all this stuff out and place it on the table and give us a closer look. Okay, so here is everything out of the box. And now we can get a much better look at all of these cool things included. Um, these guys have really outdone themselves. Um, you know, young, young rich toys. I mean, wow, this is so, so awesome. The amount of accessories that you've put here only proves that you guys are serious. You know, you guys are... You've you've made this you know you've made this for the fans, but you are fans yourselves, you know, and it, it really does show. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Um, so most importantly, this item here that I thought might have been a box or a card is in fact something so much better. <laughs> um, this is actually a Spider Verse Nike box, and it actually has all of the cool details that would be on a regular shoebox. And sure enough, 
when you open it up, inside you are met with a certificate of authenticity from Young Rich Toys for this particular figure, as well as this awesome little Spider-Man name card. Hello, my name is Miles. So, what is actually in the box is a pair of the Nike Jordans, and they are beautiful. So it is my understanding that the Hot Toys figure of Miles that is being released doesn't actually come with these shoes. You know, they, they didn't get the license to be able to use them. And so the fact that this is an unlicensed third party toy means that they can pretty much do as they please. And sure enough, there is the undone shoelaces because as Miles says within the film, it is a choice. And that just goes to show the level of detail that these guys went into. You know, these these weren't just a uh, off-the-shelf item. These weren't just a pair of trainers that you could just put on any old character. These were purposely sculpted for this figure. And it's absolutely amazing. And here again, we have the Sony headphones, which have all the swivel moving parts, which I'm not going to move around too much because... I don't want to damage them. This is, after all, my own personal figure. Um, but yeah, so much detail and so cool to have. Um, the various hands that we said. And he even comes with a little goober. Um, you know, as Peter B. Parker says, there's always something. A USB stick or a key, something that they need. Uh, it is very, very small. I'm concerned about losing it. However, there is a particular hand here. Maybe not that one, one of the others. Um, that is designed to actually hold it in place. So that's pretty cool. You know, you can, you can have Miles hold that in place as you put him on display. So going back across, as I mentioned before, the cape. This is really cool because not, it's not just a piece of fabric. This actually has some wire inside it so we can get some cool poses. Um, have it blowing in the wind, etc. while it's on your display. So yeah, very, very cool. Typical standard webbing. Um, I don't think it's anything particularly special. I think this is the sort of thing that you get on a lot of these uh, Spider-Man figures, but it's nice for them to give you all of these options. Um, then of course we have the Spider-Sense. And so this can actually be punched out and folded to put around the neck of the figure to show the Spider-Sense behind him. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use this. I'm not really a big fan of these things, but it is a nice touch. I see why they've done it. You know, there are other people out there that probably love this sort of thing. We've got the awesome Spider-Verse base with a nice little metal uh, name plaque along the top, which is, again, a really nice touch. Miles' rucksack for school. A pair of shorts, because obviously in the film, he was actually wearing shorts along with his Spider-Man outfit. Now, this is where it gets really cool because this is a secondary look for the character. And here we have an entirely separate head sculpt, which has been made uh, for this figure. And so this is completely sculpted and you just pop the head figure on. Um, I'm hoping that you guys can see it there, that that is very clearly Miles's face underneath the mask. Um, I kind of like that the nostrils are down so low because... This is, after all, a Halloween costume that shouldn't really fit. You know, one size fits all. And as Stan Lee, the man, says, you know, it fits eventually. Um, but yeah, it's such a nice touch. The level of detail here. I mean, this is actually a fabric that has been glued over the top of what appears to be another custom sculpt piece for this, for this item. So, um, yeah, as mentioned, here we have the rest of the Spider-Man outfit, including another face mask inside. Um, but that's not all, you know, this can actually be opened very, very carefully because I don't want to rip it. And sure enough, we can take this out. And, you know, this is just so, so cool. We can have Miles holding on to his mask. And we've got this, you know, this awesome printed outfit that I believe will actually fit the figure. So we're gonna test that out in due course. But yeah, how cool is that? And if you flip it around, we've even got the little name tag, which of course says Spider-Man 
with a little price tag. And, you know, again, it's these levels of detail that these guys have gone into to create such an awesome piece. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's check out Miles himself. Okay, so here is the figure itself. This is Miles. Um, so, straight off the bat, this thing looks absolutely fantastic this is an awesome figure um one of the things that does catch your attention first of all um whether it be good or bad is the head sculpt um this is a very interesting choice for the uh for the expression for the emotion being shown he kind of almost looks a bit sad a little bit concerned now that doesn't bother me too much because at the end of the day he was a concerned kid, you know, he was thrown into this world of superheroes and, you know, didn't really quite understand until that time came where he learned what responsibility was. So I'm kind of OK. I mean, at the end of the day, it does look like Miles. This is Miles Morales from the Spider-Verse movie. The detail on the hair is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and so, yeah, overall, I am very happy with this head sculpt moving on we have the jacket now this is kind of like a more blue color here um i seem to recall in the movie it being slightly more green in color but maybe i'm wrong um one very fun and interesting thing is actually the logo on the coat is now actually for the company you know young rich toys so that's an interesting touch by them it's very cool in the actual movie i'm not sure what that logo actually says but yeah, it doesn't take from the figure at all. And it's a nice little bit of advertising for the guys that gave us this awesome figure. Then we've obviously got the uh, red hoodie jumpsuit. And this is all actually built up in layers. This isn't just one piece with, you know, the multiple layers stitched in or attached. You can take each item off and reveal the different steps of clothing underneath. So the red hoodie with a workable zip, as does the actual uh, jacket, which is great. Um, and then a white t-shirt. And these awesome like stretchy tracksuit bottoms or trousers. Um, and then as we mentioned before these awesome Nike uh, Jordans. Which are pretty much identical to what we had in the secondary box within the additional accessories. So uh, yeah fantastic. I mean yes okay we're going to have the uh, Hot Toys version coming out. But this one by far in my opinion is worth every penny this one gives us so much more than what that hot toys uh figure will actually give us um and the fact that they threw this extra pair of trainers in you know i think i think this company knows what fans want and even if someone bought this figure along with the hot toys one they've given them an additional pair of shoes to put on their hot toys figure which i think is awesome so um yeah the only thing that i'm a little bit concerned of is there is an ever so slight seam on the leg. It's not very noticeable, so I think we'll get away with it. But I'm just concerned about with that um, bit of the trousers rising up. And I know that when he wears the Spidey outfit, the uh, Halloween costume outfit, those legs might be a little bit higher. So I'm just a little bit concerned about how that might look. But overall, amazing figure. So happy to have this in my collection. And so here we have Miles in the Halloween Spider-Man costume. Um, this thing is awesome. This is probably how I'm going to choose to display my figure because once again, Hot Toys are not releasing a figure of this type. Um, and this is the, you know, the young innocent Miles that we all love. So I think I'm going to have him displayed in this way. And then obviously we have, uh, the pair of shorts to go over the top as well as the cape. So I'm going to put those on next. Um, one thing of mention is uh, some of these joints are fairly loose. Um, I like my toys to have a bit, bit more stiffness to the joints. Um, it's not a deal breaker. Um, and as you can see, the costume does a great job at hiding a lot of the seams. After all, uh, the seams on the wrist joints here are perfectly hidden by the web shooters and the seams in the knees and on the elbows are hidden by the actual costume itself. One thing that I would like to point out to you guys, if you take a look at the back, this costume, because it is so poorly fitting for Miles on purpose, is uh, very difficult to 
um, to put on and off. So I don't recommend that you do it often. Um, you'd want to try and avoid any rips to this area here. Um, still absolutely love that price tag. It's so cool. So uh, yeah, let's get him in his shorts and cape. So there you have it. There is Miles in that awesome superhero secret mission pose. Um, I absolutely love this figure. Um, and like I say, I'm probably going to keep him displayed in this way. I love the look of it. I mean, even in the movie when I first saw it, this is what it was like being a kid growing up. We wanted to be these superheroes and we would dress up like them in any way we could find. And I just love it. I just love it. There is something about this look that really hits home. Um, so just looking back at some of the other accessories, as I mentioned before, we have the fabric Spider-Man mask, which Miles could hold um, if you were to go back utilising the original face. So that's very cool. Then, of course, we have the Venom Blasts, which we could attach to his wrists. But again, I'm probably not going to use these. Um, we've got the additional Spider-Man webbing, which is really cool. So might be able to utilize them in some form of display. Um, and of course, we've got the Spider-Sense. And so having that perched onto his neck and mounted at the back. Again, it's pretty cool. Probably not something that I myself would use, but it's amazing that they've given us those options. Um, as mentioned before, we got the Gooba, um, which is really cool and fits nicely within this particular hand. Um, we've got the little spray canister, which if you actually open it, does indeed open up, which is pretty cool. Um, then we've got the mobile phone and I've actually stuck one of those stickers that I showed you in the beginning on here. This is dad calling, um, followed by the headphones. And these are even better than I first thought. You know, these are beautifully sculpted and would go well on any six inch figure that you have in your collection. Um, and then lastly, the rucksack, which I guess if I'm gonna keep Miles in this particular uh, costume, I'm not gonna utilize this rucksack. However, I do have a couple of theories as to how I can best utilize a lot of this additional stuff that this amazing set has given us. So stay tuned for an upcoming video should that work out. So yeah, finally, the last thing to discuss before I venture off is this awesome backdrop. Um, what can I say? It is amazing. You know, Young Rich Toys have really knocked this figure out of the park. This is absolutely superb. Um, like I say, this is not a paid advertisement for this product. It was merely something that I saw that I was going to buy and I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. But I do highly recommend that you check out the website. As I mentioned before, I bought this from toywonderland.com and yeah, the delivery and the communication between the company was absolutely superb. I would definitely be looking forward to purchasing more from them in the future. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up, but if you have any questions about this figure, drop them in the comment section below and I'll more than happily answer as best I can. So until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.